This week, I celebrated my six-year anniversary of coming to Albania. I first touched down in Tehran on the 21st of October for a three-day holiday, and I never really left. Now, on the 22nd of October, I celebrated by taking part in the Tirana Marathon, and I met lots of Albanians who now live abroad and came back to run the race, all and some that have left and then come back as well. Now, I decided to invite two of them to the studio to talk in depth about their choices and views on living abroad, progress in Albania, and the role and the rights of the diaspora. I'm joined online today by MP Lavdurim Krashi and in the studio by business owner Arni Demilia. Good afternoon to you both. Good afternoon. Thank you for inviting us. Thanks very much for joining me. Lavdurim, we're going to go to you first. Now, you're from Debra. Uh, but you lived in the UK for 20 years and you worked for Brent Council in London as a housing manager, if I'm not wrong. What made you return to England? It sounds like, um, return to Albania. I mean, it sounds like you had your life set up there. What made you come back? Well, when the country calls you, it's a uh, time to make a decision. And um, uh, for me, having spent uh, more than two decades in London, working for local authorities, uh, various local authorities in London, um, I received a call uh, to come and uh, um, perhaps, um, well, compete to become a member of parliament, um, which, uh, an offer which I accepted. I couldn't really refuse. Uh, and it's a call of duty, if you like. It's, um, uh, it's the time comes uh, in your life when you uh, have to come back to your own country and uh, give your contribution uh, here, having spent uh, many years working for public services uh, in the UK. Uh, I think that uh, I had uh, a lot of things to offer, and I'd like to bring some uh, Britishness into the um, Albanian political system. What is that Britishness? I assume you don't mean tea and biscuits and things like that. What do you mean by Britishness? Uh, more like, uh, in my opinion anyway, more like uh, uh, rule of law, um, 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 end to impunity, um, um, uh, transparency. Uh, they all come with, um, with a lot of effort. Uh, I, I know that there is no country that is uh, perfect, but for me, having spent a long time in the United Kingdom, has, uh, has taught me uh, that um, regardless of your background, regardless of where you come from, who you are and what you've done or do in a country, uh, it's, um, there is no uh, real discrimination and you can achieve who, what you want to be and you can do what you want to do and what you are capable of doing regardless of your um, background. Ground. So these are, for me, the themes that I would like to bring more into the Albanian political scene, which is, uh, just to repeat myself, uh, more transparency, more openness, uh, more integrity of uh, public servants, and, uh, of course, uh, developing the country in the right direction. Albania uh, has had a, a tough uh, a transition from dictatorship into democracy. But having said that, sometimes we're very hard on ourselves because it has made huge progress since early 1990s. It is today a completely unrecognizable country if you had to compare it with the pre, um, um, well, with the communist times, dictatorship times. So these are the things that I'd like to bring. Uh, I know we have a huge uh, Albanian diaspora living uh, abroad, and I'd like all of them uh, to uh, bring their experience into um, Albania so that um, we are on par, we are on the same uh, playing level field, if you like, with, uh, with other European nations. Now, you mentioned, obviously, the rule of law. I read some statistics today from the World Justice Project um, that the rule of law ranking for Albania is actually, it's been getting worse over the last couple of years, despite ongoing reforms and pledges, etc. Um, so I have two questions for you. Firstly, you've come back with this idea of Britishness and these objectives you want to pursue. What was the reaction you had sort of coming with all these ideas in the current context? And also, what was your impression of the status quo at the moment? Was it a shock for you seeing how things are? Well, 
uh, as anything new that happens to people in life, uh, I mean, obviously I'm Albanian, so it doesn't come as a huge, as a complete shock to me, as if I were a uh, foreigner, uh, a, a British uh, national, for example, in the sense of uh, being born in the United Kingdom. But having said that, when I first came back two years ago, I had to get used to some uh, different ways of uh, even communicating, like we are now, of a, of a, um, um, a Skype. Um, the way that uh, public services are seen, uh, perceived uh, by the general public, but also by those who are public servants, who get paid by the taxpayer to serve their community, is slightly different. As I said, I've worked in public services for more than 20 years in the United Kingdom, and the way in which uh, you must treat uh, your customers is always with uh, respect, uh, with no uh, discrimination, um, regardless of who they are, where they come from, uh, etc. So in that sense, I have to, um, I, 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 so far, I have refused, and I'll continue to refuse to, uh, to change who I am, because although I left Albania when I was a proper adult, really, I was uh, 26 when I, uh, came to the United Kingdom. Um, I'm more. I, most of my uh, professional life is in the United Kingdom, and I'd like to bring some of, uh, um, as I said, some of the uh, uh, ways in which so, uh, public services are delivered in the UK. I want to bring that to Albania. I'm not saying that the UK is perfect. I'm not saying the European Union is perfect, but it's uh, it's uh, far different to uh, that uh, in um, Albania. Uh, I find that uh, the uh, Albanian political system is, uh, um, I mean, we, we can see, to link it to your second question now, we can see where we are now. The situation is, is uh, a political situation that is, it, it is really in a status quo. It's mainly because um, uh, a lot of positive things have happened, i.e. the judicial reform, which is a very brave reform that the Albanian uh, government and the Al Albanian politics in general, uh, from uh, across the spectrum, really, uh, undertook uh, a few years ago. It is now starting to become operational. And for me, one of the best things that it has brought is uh, um, people can see that there can be an end to, to impunity. So people who have um, gotten involved in things that they shouldn't have they do realize that they have to pay a price now. But more importantly, it can serve as a deterrent for current public servants so that they do exactly what the public, the taxpayer pays them to do, which is to serve the public rather than to serve their own um, personal uh, and very narrow interests.